Well, what's going on everyone? It's Mike back again. The audio could be horrendous here because we're here on our little mini moon. I want to show you where we are first of all. This is a, it's absolutely stunning. Um, I'll put the link in the description below if anyone fancies a little mini moon. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll give you a little tour. So I'll give you a little tour. So, just married. It's all blue. Blue. Got YouTube obviously. Toilets in there. Bedroom, blue and white. It's all very lovely. Lovely little sofa. We've got our own little garden. As you can see, look at the view of that. Absolutely delightful. And then there's the wife. Hi wife. Hi. See, don't you look beautiful, eh? So anyway, let's talk about football, shall we? Let's get back into it. Everton uh, looks like Rafa Benitez is our man. Looks like uh, I'm about to win 150 quid because of it as well. You wouldn't believe it, would you? Who puts money on Rafa Benitez joining Everton Football Club? is a visionary. Um, this move's mad. Like this move is mad. You know, this is a this is a manager who's won things, won the Champions League. A lot of people are saying he's a dinosaur. He's won nothing in a long time. Um, he won something, I think, six years ago. Same time that Carlo Ancelotti last won something. Um, football at Newcastle was fairly bland. Football at Everton was fairly bland. I, I don't think, from a style perspective, there's going to be loads of changes with Rafa. Um, I think his contract's heavily incentivised. I think rumours going round, um, certainly from their sort of some of the conversations I've had is it looks like it's a contract of about two and a half million pound a year but heavily incentivised by Everton securing European football Everton um, uh, just there's lots of different things getting to semi-finals of FA Cups etc etc and I think that was the right way to play this contract because for me this appointment is shit or bust you know this is this is very much a Rafa Benitez has managed them. You know, he, he's he's managed the Red Shark. He's he did well with the Red Shark. He's well respected by a lot of Liverpool supporters. And that man is coming into Goodison Park. I understand completely why Everton fans are already rejecting him. I get it. It genuinely will go both ways. You know, if Everton are bottom of the league or in the bottom ten or in the bottom five. After our first six games of the season, where, in my opinion, we should be looking to take at least 15 points. We won't. I'm not saying we won't. But, you know, we should be. That, that looking at the fixtures, we should be aiming to get 18. But nevertheless, we don't really know what we're going to have come, uh, come the start of the season. But for me, it, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a really weird appointment. You know, I'm, I'm surprised of how hell-bent... Mishiri has, has seemed to be. Another thing that obviously come up as a result of this is Usmanov's involvement. Now, Usmanov, it's very clear now for, for a lot of the Evertonians who didn't believe that Usmanov was behind the scenes, it's very clear now that he is. You know, the Telegraph reported, I think the Times reported it. They both said that a lot of this is due to the stability of Everton going into Bramley Moor with a manager that they feel will not have Everton at risk of going down. Um, and would just be a sort of steady manager. Being honest, I, I think it's a dangerous appointment. Um, but then I also didn't like the suggestions of Nuno, for example, because I don't think he is a steady appointment. I think Graham Potter would be a dangerous appointment. Um, and, I, and I do get why people want all of these managers. I'm, I'm absolutely not disputing your arguments. But for me, I do think it was dangerous. So... I understand why the board have gone with Rafa. It does make me wonder if David Moyes wasn't in a job at West Ham. Probably would have gone for Moyes, I think. Um, it's surprising. Obviously, Everton have now been without a manager for the best part of the month. You know, Ancelotti left on the 1st of June. Very disappointedly. I think even his son is disappointed by what happened. 
And I just think it's left a sour taste in a lot of Evertonians' mouth, how fast it all come and how this month has been horrendous. You know, we expected planning. We expected... I expected signings in by now. You know, I expected players in and out, and we've we've not had any of that. Um, we're, we're being slow. And, and while we're sitting back, you've got teams like Leicester who are signing um, Dakar and, and Sumer, and Everton are just sitting there on their arse, waiting for the wind to take them in whatever direction that may be. Uh, I don't know how I feel about that. Another thing I will say, though, and, and this is a positive, is my understanding, again, I'm not in the know, I'm not pretending to be in the know, this is just from what I've sort of read and sort of gathered from Twitter, but my understanding is that Nuno wouldn't have kept on Ferguson. Um... Some of the other managers wouldn't have kept on Duncan. And I do think Duncan needs to be at the club. I know a lot of people were sort of less asked about it, but I really do think he needs to be at the club. I think it's important Duncan's at this club because Duncan is a passionate blue. And I always think it's important to have one just in and around the, the, the place. And I know we've got a few, we've got Kale, we've got Baines, but I do think Duncan is sort of, he's the linchpin to all of that. You know, the, he's just had a new a painting done on the side of the Hot Watt building. You know, he he, he sort of epitomises Everton. And a, an Everton team without Duncan Ferguson would really disappoint me. So, Yeah. Anyway, let's also talk about some transfers, obviously. Everton have again been linked with Denzel Dumfries, who hasn't done very well today. He, I don't think he had a good game against the um, against the Czechs. And as a result, Netherlands have been knocked out. He wasn't the worst player on the pitch, but he certainly didn't have a good game. But he's had a good tournament apart from that, that 16 game. Um, Everton are rumoured to be in for about 20 million. If you can get it anywhere near that, that's a good signing. Um, Matthias Nunes is still being linked with Everton and that deal looks like it could be completed soon. Again, ball carrying central midfielder, good quality young lad, plays for Sporting Lisbon, made 41 appearances and scored three goals last season. Doesn't doesn't necessarily fill you with confidence, but I can, I can tell you this kid has got real quality because I have seen him play as many people want to sit here and tell me that I haven't seen a player play it's fucking ridiculous but I have seen him play not loads of times I've only watched it on that dodgy Portuguese football channel on the dodgy box but he's a good player he seems to be a good player and he he might be a little bit light for the Premier League but he, he does seem to know how to ride a tackle how to carry a ball and I'm hoping he can link up well with the forward to Calvert Lewin with Charleston. Um James Rodriguez could well be on his way to AC Milan with with Lau coming back the other way. Again, I'm, I'm not a deal that I'm not necessarily against. Lau, 23 years old, centre forward. I think, think, um, but he only scored six goals last season, and and so did James. So I don't know how I feel about that one. I do. I like James when he plays. Um, but if he's not, if his heart's not here, there's no point having him. So I'm on the fence about that. Um, yeah, Gorfi Sigurdsson could be off as well. That would be outrageous. £10 million for Gorfi Sigurdsson to leave and 120 grand a week off the wage bill. All day, I'll drive him there. Take Bernard with you as well. Um, it's one of these the, these Emirates clubs. I can't remember which club it is, um, but it, it it could be a good opportunity for him. You know, he, he could make a name for himself out there. The weather will be lovely, obviously. You never know whether he fancies that. Um, I think I think Everton. I think he's done at Everton now, to be honest. And I would have very little problem with him joining another club. So Sigurdsson could be off. Um, Fabian Delph was also linked with a move away again to the MLS we'll see if that comes off but by all means he can go Everton just needs to have a huge summer of just getting rid of players um, seriously getting rid of players 
Um, another rumour that came out last week was Dominic Calvert losing £50 million, pound, one being Arsenal, the other being Real Madrid. I can't see him leaving Everton for Arsenal. I just can't. It doesn't make sense. Um, they're about to sign Ben White by the looks of it, so at least they're going in the right direction as a football club now. But um, I don't know, it just doesn't make sense to me. Um, and apparently PSG is still waiting for Everton to appoint a manager to know what's happening with Moyes Keane. Kind of, uh, it's fucking up. Rafa Benitez is going to have a huge job when he walks into Everton because he, he fundamentally has to sort out, along with Marcel Brands, the issues with Moyes Keane and Hamish Rodriguez, arguably two of Everton's best assets. I know people will disagree with me about Moyes Keane because he can't do it in the Prem, etc, etc, but he, he is decent property and he will fetch a decent price, so, you know, he is sought after. And, and James Rodriguez is James Rodriguez, you know, he, he's, he's a person that put Everton on the international stage in Colombia, you know, he, he single-handedly sort of give us that push in, in, in South America, so it'd be disappointing to lose him as well, so, yeah. Anyway, guys, look, I'm leaving it there. Um, you are going to start getting daily videos again, I promise. Um, it's just, obviously, it's been a weird two weeks. Um, you know, recently got married Thursday, and obviously all the planning for that just, just took over. So, um, yeah, I'm sorry I haven't been here to do a video. Plus, as I, say, as I said in my last video, there's literally countless Everton channels, rightly so, doing videos all going on about the same thing and I don't blame any of them at all that you know they've all got their own subscribers just like I have and we all want to make content for you guys but um, hopefully it, you know it gives other channels the opportunity to, to grow a little bit quicker I don't know I, I think it's important as a community of creators that we, we give you the best we can and um, I'm very fortunate in that sense that, that we've got a good community of fans we all have so, uh, yeah, I'm going to leave you there. That was my wedding present. It's lovely. Lovely. I've got Harriet a few bits as well. And it's very weird, you know, being married. And it's, uh, it's, it's, it is a bit different. It is. I'm 29, married, a mortgage. It's... Uh, yeah, I think life's complete now, isn't it, really? Like, you know, done. Anyway, look, I'm rambling now. Guys, have a good one. I will see you soon. Peace.